My name is Indy Perry. I am from Indianapolis, Indiana, studying sports management with a minor in military science and leadership. I am from Indianapolis as well as um, I'm part of the School of Health and Human Science. I chose to go to IUI because it's near home and I don't want to be too far from my family. So being a part of ROTC is very beneficial, I say. Sometimes it can be long, you have hard days, but as well as uh, focus on all your goals. I feel like it's very, it's very, everyone should do it. I feel like everyone should do it on the fitness aspect as well as the leadership and um, the education. You get to learn so much about yourself and the people around you and how to work with everyone and just be a leader. Um, also just learning more about uh, how to get through things when it's tough. Um, I really just balance it, just trying to stay organized as well as communicating with my professors as well as communicating with my chain of command and ROTC. Like I said, they are aware that you're a student first and they are honored that you have class, they are honored that you have any type of life conflict. So just being able to communicate with them as well as just trying to be organized on your own and like just sit down sometimes to write, write down what you have to do, write down the time schedule for the next couple weeks and I feel like that's comes with a lot of part of just ROTC holding you accountable. So it's the accountability through ROTC definitely impacted the accountability that I have with getting my work done, attending class and things like that. The leadership aspect is really just focus on uh, how to be uncomfortable in hard situations as well as how to keep going when things are hard. So just to piggyback off that, we prepare uh, a lot of our cadets with um, uncomfortable situations like sleeping outside, definitely when it's raining and stuff like that, and you continue to train. It's nothing that we can't do um, under any conditions. So it's just being around other people and just being motivated and also just learning how to do things, like I said, when you are uncomfortable, that the leadership of that aspect is how to just continue to keep doing, doing things you don't want to do, as well as just trying to figure things out and also use, utilizing the people around you. Of course, just being a college student, the benefits, um, it helped with tuition as well as it give you a monthly stipend, but also on the aspect of free, um, like it's like a, having a free fit uh, personal trainer. So we work out three times a week, and then we have lab, which is, conducts a little, a little bit of physical training, but also it just like prepares students to um, be in like a combat situation. And I think that's just actually pretty fun. So it's something like you can do just for fun and also like being fit and learning more about the military history. So every semester we have a fall FTX, which is a field exercise training. So in the fall, we actually go to Camp Atterbury, about 45 minutes away from Indy, and we'll do like a rappel tower as well as like a confidence course. And it's basically a team exercise with the confidence course in the rappel tower. We'll go on a big giant wall and we'll just rappel down it, or we can do it without a wall and we're just sliding down a rope. So doing things like that, you would never thought you could do, as well as in the winter time we'll go into the net and we'll basically dive off the uh, diving boards into like 24 feet of water so it's doing things like that you you would never even think you could do but actually it's pretty fun once you actually do it oh um, yes yeah, so this past summer uh, I went to CST which is a cadet um, training so we have to complete cadet training to graduate as a second lieutenant and during that training um, we actually got ambushed and we have like these blanks with our weapons our m4s and just being with everyone and shooting everybody it's pretty fun and knowing what are you doing it for so i'll say that's the most funnest thing i think i ever did I will tell them to continue to network. Um, you don't know who you might see out there and who you might see in class. And just being a sports management major, it actually ties in with a lot of volunteering hours. We actually do a lot of volunteering with um, uh, ND11 as well as the Colts. Uh, this past weekend, we just did a concert at uh, Bankers Life Fieldhouse. 
uh, just helping out with that. So all the connections you have with ROTC actually kind of reflect with sports management or just being a TESM program period because those connections that you're building outside of your major, you're actually getting it through ROTC. So I definitely think they should join as soon as they get here and why here is because the people around you, they support you. Your My professor has been totally flexible as well as our lieutenant colonel he's flexible as well he know you're a college student he know you're trying to have a life outside of college as well as serving in the military so i would say RT definitely builds a lot of character also being com being an incoming freshman you'll try to figure out the organization like the organization aspect of just being a college student rotc definitely will hold you accountable um, also you'll just learn as a character like things not always what they are and things not always not what they seem like but you can work through it, definitely through communication and just continue to network. Yes, yeah, so actually I right, graduated in May and December we actually find out what branch we get chosen for as well as a date we'll have to go to Bullet and that's just basically um, the branch AIT or branch training and then after that I will be um, a second lieutenant in the Army, active duty. Of course, I'm actually I'm ready to I'm ready to see all this hard work hard work pay off and actually implement what I learned here into my future. So